Greetings everyone, today I'd like to discuss yet another AMD Ryzen topic. And yes, this is another question I frequently get asked. Two processors, the Ryzen 5 2600 or 2600X and Ryzen 7 2700 or 2700X. Two more cores on the Ryzen 7 CPUs, is it worth the extra money? The Ryzen 5 2600 is a 6 core chip, so do you really need 8 cores to game and get the highest frame rate in games? Or will the 6 cores serve you just fine? And what about rendering, video editing and stuff like that? How much of a performance difference is there at the end of the day? And what if both the Ryzen 5 and 7 CPUs are overclocked? This is exactly what we'll be looking at today. Right now the 2700X goes for like 320 US dollars, the 2600 on the other hand can be picked up for roughly $190. Before we move on, it's important to know the differences in specs between the 2600 and the 2700X. Obviously one is a 6 core with 12 threads, the other an 8 core with 16 threads. A very big difference is the much lower TDP on the Ryzen 5, meaning it should run cooler and consume less power. Last but not least, while both CPUs come with 16 MB of L3 cache, the Ryzen 5 comes with a single MB less L2 cache. In terms of memory, it seems both handle DDR4 3200 MHz RAM perfectly fine, so no difference there, no worries. But let's take a look at those benchmarks now, so we know exactly how much of an advantage the Ryzen 7 has, if any, in games. Okay, clearly the Ryzen 7 2700X with its 8 cores is the more powerful CPU, especially in programs that can utilize those 8 cores and 16 threads. So if you're doing lots of rendering work, image and video editing and the likes, depending on what software exactly you use, the two additional cores on the 2700X as opposed to the 2600 can make a pretty significant difference. But once you overclock the Ryzen 5 2600, you can easily get some more multi-core power out of this pretty awesome Ryzen 5. You aren't gaining as much when upping the clock speed on the 2700X, since 4.2 GHz more or less were the maximum I could and wanted to achieve with a specific CPU core voltage. A lot of Ryzen 5 2600s overclock higher than just 4 GHz, though I just happened to have a bit of a bad luck there with my chip and I didn't want to push it above the 1.4 volt mark. But of course what most of you seemingly care about is gaming performance. And guess what? There's really not that much of a difference in frame rate when comparing the 2600 with the 2700X. In my opinion, if your highest priority is gaming, the 2600 or 2600X is the perfect choice. It might be wiser to invest the extra money you would have spent on the 2700X in a more powerful graphics card. That for sure will get you more for your money. And if you don't care about the slightly higher temperatures and power draw, go ahead and overclock the 
600 in order to get even closer to the 2700X FPS wise. And in general I think the Ryzen 5 2600 is more of a sweet spot CPU since it does pretty much everything very well. You can game with it, edit, render and stream with it all at a fairly reasonable price of $190. The 2700X at $320 mainly makes sense for those that want the best of the best without going for the high-end platforms. Price performance wise the 2700X or even the 2700 aren't as attractive as the Ryzen 5 models, in particular the 2600. So in my opinion it's not a hard decision to make. If you had a hard time deciding between the two I hope this video could answer some of the questions you had. And with that said, thanks for watching.